Hey guys, it's Eclipse here, and today's video we're going to have a look at what playing World of Tanks for almost seven years is actually like within World of Tanks console. What you can expect from playing the game? Is it worth playing the game? What sort of things do I have the most enjoyment for when I play the game? And do statistics really matter within World of Tanks? Let me know in the comment section down below your pre-video like comments, what you actually think about that, those kind of questions. And of course, we'll get a good discussion going in the comments. I think that for me personally, as a brief overview, well, I think statistics are one of those things that are just there for those of you who care. For the majority of the time, I do not look at my statistics. I don't really care. For the most part, I do it. Maybe my most valuable statistic is the marks of excellence, but that's just because I like grinding towards something. And of course, I guess if you take it to the same sort of thing, if I want to get to a 65% win rate, then yeah, statistics would matter, but they probably only matter to you. So don't take it as everyone cares as much about your statistics as you do about yours. Um, and I think that that will serve you very well for World of Tanks. Now, as far as my career on World of Tanks, I think it would be interesting to show you what sort of things you're most likely going to see within the game. So first things first, what are the my records and milestones? Well, you can see my most damage ever within World of Tanks that isn't in Cold War game mode is in the T92. I know, I know guys, I know, 10,494 damage in an artillery piece at tier 10. Um, yeah, I I apologise, <laughs> it's a lot of damage. It was on actual Westfield, I just decided I'm going to fire AP and for some reason I just kept hitting continuously over and over and over and I managed to pick up 10,500 damage nearly in one singular game which yes I know is pretty disgusting. As far as my most kills well I've got 10 in one game which is quite a few. It's a pools medal in the S35CA. I've also got 10 damaging or 10 kills as well in the T57 heavy and also in the Hetzer Two of them I have videos on, the S35CA and the Hetzer. Both of them are on the channel, which of course, if you want to go back and have a look at, it is the bathtub video. It has the S35CA on it. Yes, um, Paul's Medal and stuff like that. So very, very interesting. As far as my most XP, you can see right here, the AMX Chaffee, 3,746 most XP. So that's always really, really nice. And of course, if you want to check out yours, I forgot to mention that you can go to WhatStar com forward slash xbox and then you can basically type in your name on either ps4 or xbox so you can pick whichever one you want and a big shout out to what stars uh, for providing this service for everyone to actually have a look at of course it's very interesting and always cool to see all of your achievements and milestones and stuff like that um yeah very very nice to see and after playing for what nearly six and a half years well, actually six and a half years now, it is very, very nice to see everything within the game. And of course, your statistics uh, over the course of that year, how how well you've done, how many medals you've got, all put into one place that is easy to see. And you can see your progression as well over the years, like how well you've actually done, how what tiers do you perform best at? What tiers do you play the most? Uh, and also where you get your majority or wins and stuff like that. So for me, my highest win rate is actually at tier 10, surprisingly. Um, then we have, what, tier 6 is my second highest, then it's tier 8, and then we have tier 7, tier 9, and then you have things, oh no, tier 5 is my highest win rate actually, at 63.94%, but that's probably down to the fact we played in the Panzer 5 4 and got like an 80% win rate overall. Um, but yeah, we can have a look at my highest win rate tanks here, which is always nice. And of course, there we go, the S35 CA, 90% win rate in 80 games. I'm sure that's probably one of the highest win rates out there. Ridiculous. And then coming in in a close second with a tank with actual games in it like you know above five or six um is the panzer v4 54 games 89 percent win rate almost and then a tank that i've played a little bit more the barask which is i guess not as competitive or absolutely absurdly broken as these two and a higher tier one than the batch at chatillon barask at 83 and a half percent and of course if you want to check out my statistics or your own you can do that on the what stars website but we're going to go over some of the key kind of things of the website what you can expect to see uh, and also some of the interesting um, overall statistics that you can see so 
For example, here we go, the Cobra Arctic Hiss, you can see we have, I've got 50,000 damage over all these are my recent milestones, so it comes up with what you've done recently. Of course here, 2.5 million total XP is something I've done recently. Um, we've also got a total of 30,000 enemies destroyed within World of Tanks console, which is quite a sizable number actually. Um, yeah, very nice to see. You can also see things like your max amount of kills within a certain vehicle, the amount of damage that you've done, the max XP that you've got in certain vehicles, and stuff like that. And I think that that is really, really cool. Certainly this AMX Chaffee game that I had on Prokhorovka the other day is my most XP ga game. The base XP on that thing was just unbelievable. And if you want to check out that video, it is titled um, something like the AMX Chaffee um on World of Tanks, uh, I think it's like Wargaming, this is a joke or something like that, I think that that's the video, but basically that features one of the best, whilst I talk about how terrible the AMX Chaffee is, uh, we get one of the best games I've ever had uh, in a light tank at tier 7, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of a bit strange, but I guess it's <laughs> it's interesting for you guys to watch, so if you want to watch that then you can do at the end of this video maybe, um, but as far as other tanks, I'll pick out some of the best ones that I've played, some of the ones that I enjoy the most and what I tend to enjoy out of every single tank. So first things first, we have a few of my three mark tanks. So T57 Heavy, FV4005 and the Object 268, I've all three marked both all of those. Uh, the, my favourite tank probably being the FV4005 just because it has that potential to one-shot enemy tanks and I think that that is the coolest thing, you know, when someone tries to YOLO you and you just smack them for a ridiculous amount of damage and then they're thinking, oh crap, maybe I shouldn't have just YOLO'd in. Uh, it's kind of like the anti-rush mechanic the where you can kind of avoid people from just YOLOing into you which is something that happens on World of Tanks console a lot uh, where people just don't really give a crap to be honest. Yeah, definitely a tank that I would recommend to any of you getting it uh, and one that I would, you know, would definitely oblige people to play. Uh, certainly some of the other ones, we have things like the Type 59, which hmm, is a terrible tank now, as you can see. Or actually, I played that quite recently, but for the most part, before then, it was probably 2016 when I last played the Type 59. And over the years, it's got significantly less overpowered when it first came out it's probably one of the better premiums at tier 8 but when we have things like the dreadnought kv2 and some of the most recent premiums the draugon then yeah it doesn't compete in any sense of the word so yeah if you're interested in that then of course let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do any videos on some of these tanks of course let me know and if you want me to do any particular video in at all to be honest just let me know in the comment section down below and uh, yeah I'm using this video as kind of like a talking point about what World of Tanks console is like what you can expect whether or not I find it as fun do I still play it after six years because yeah to be honest I don't really play as much as I used to and that's probably seen by my 60 day stats and my 90 day stats I've only played 600 games in 90 days and if we compare that to the 21,704 battles I've played over the course of my six years of playing then yeah I guess that I probably don't play anywhere near as much as I used to and that's just because of work commitment and university and stuff like that that have just kind of got in the way and I'm not particularly a fan of the way that World of Tanks console is going, not particularly a fan of Cold War, but you guys already know that. And of course, if you want to search how good you are, if you want to search at what kind of rank your vehicles are at, then of course you can do that on this website too. So here we go, the Excalibur. I am ranked third out of 309 people that have played the tank. And you can do that in things like the Eradicator Carnarvon. You can look at it in different tanks that you can see all here that I am ranked um, out of the total amount of players. And of course, if you want to look at your WN8 and things like the Hellcat, because I haven't played the Hellcat recently, I am not ranked within the actual rank um, on this game. But if you play a tank uh, within the last 30 days, I think it is, you can see whereabouts you place in the total amount of players on the game. So currently, I'm ranked third out of every single person that's played the Excalibur in the last 30 days. Same with the Carnarvon, ranked 11 out of everyone that's played it. And yeah, if you want to check out where you are at, then go to the website, wokstars.com in the description. Of course, 
I think it's it's kind of a short video today. I just kind of wanted to show you what you can do with statistics, have a look at them, determine where you are and what kind of tanks that you can play, which ones that you perform best in, and then you can pick tanks that you enjoy the most and obviously go by statistics if you want to, but they aren't the be all and end all. And although I may have high statistics in one vehicle, we also have low statistics in other vehicles that I've played. Hetzer, I'm looking at you. I've only ever played this recently and yeah, previously to playing it once and getting a 10 kill game, I played it in 2015 and that was when I first began World of Tanks. As you can see, only two months in and I was playing the Hetzer. So yes, everyone starts somewhere. Everyone has bad statistics to begin with. I say bad, but you know, they're what they are. You know, I don't take too, no, too much notice. And of course, only you are the person that cares as much about your statistics as yourself. So there we go. Hopefully this video was interesting for you. And of course, if you want me to do a guide as to how to increase your statistics in your vehicles, if you want me to do more, how to get better at World of Tanks, how to improve, then of course, let me know in the comment section down below as with anything that you fancy me doing videos on. I try and do videos on cool topics and stuff like that. And I thought that this was just an interesting one. I know most of you probably don't really care about my statistics or my journey, but I thought it would be interesting discuss some of the key things within my career and uh, yeah definitely an interesting thing to talk about other than that hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did remember to hit that like button and if you want to check out some more content there will be some on screen right now other than that hope you have a great rest of your day a big thank you to the channel members goodbye